Boys! Boys! Beta Ray Bill, the Corbinite Warrior, has unlocked a new level of power as a member of the Annihilators and is rejoining Marvel Future Fight. Ooh, okay. I am once more excited for an update. It didn't happen for Captain Marvel. Nope. It didn't happen for What If Season 2. Nope. And it it sort of had well it, it did happen for goblin queen but then they kind of screwed us over on the back end on that one but that one was hype this is another very hype update not only because really cool characters also a bunch of underused long forgotten in dire need of rework characters this is like potentially a full slate from top to bottom of characters that need reworks getting them which you always love to see now, over on the forums, let's take a look. By the way, guys, why aren't you following me on Twitter? You're missing amazing posts like Annihilator My Bussy, by the way, with 43 likes and over 1,000 impressions. Really crazy stuff here, guys. Really groundbreaking, groundbreaking stuff. Anywho, over on the forums, this superhero has enhanced his powers to become a champion for his people. By the way, his people look like horses. They're very freaky looking. The Corbinite Warrior. Not to be confused with what they encased Han Solo in, which is Carbonite. Uh, and not to be uh, confused with what we wanted them to add more of uh, as a drop for game modes, Carbonadium. Check out the new look and abilities of this superhero who wields the Twilight Sword. Wait, what? Okay, so I had no idea this comic existed and I just went and read the whole thing. Holy shit, it's really good. I liked Beta Ray Bill before, but he's an absolute badass. Holy shit. I can't believe I made fun of him for looking like a horse. He still looks like a horse, but this is a really badass storyline. It's from 2021. It's just five issues. It's, it's titled, titled Beta Ray Bill. It's really, really good. I'm going to spoil some of it now for you. So if you don't want to be spoiled, pause this video. Go and read the five issues. Go buy them from your local comic book store, whatever it is. Subscribe to the Marvel thing and Marvel Online uh, and read them. They're really, really good. Uh, and so basically, uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Because I was so confused when they said here in the sneak peek, they're like, uh, check out the new looks and abilities of the superhero who wields the Twilight Sword, because as far as I understood it, this is the version of uh, this is the version of Beta Ray Bill I thought we were getting with the sneak peek, because this is what he looks like as far as the armor goes. But I was confused because this look is not from any of the Annihilators runs, and it's not from any recent Beta Ray Bill stuff. This is from Harold Thor, which we looked at and talked about back in 2021 when we got the Harold Thor uniform with with after the Null update. But this is the sneak peek, so check it out. You see him in the armor, which is exactly like... It's, it's actually very confusing. Because you see him with the armor, right? Which is basically the one that I just showed you. It's, 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 it's exactly this. But he doesn't have Stormbreaker. He doesn't have his Stormbreaker here. He actually is wielding an axe? This is... I think this actually might be a mistake. I think someone might have screwed up either uh, in, in, the, in the sneak peek team or in the translation. I'm thinking maybe it's the translation team. Maybe they were working with an earlier version of Beta Ray Bill that they were going to use a Twilight Sword, and now they're not. Because the Twilight Sword, as the name implies, is a sword. It's certainly not an axe. But this is actually this is actually very confusing from a continuity point of view because it's an axe, which is not Stormbreaker, and not Twilight Sword. But then they mention Twilight Sword, but then the armor is from Harold Thor, the Harold Thor run. So if someone has more information to sort of to, to, to shed light on this confusion here, um, that would be great. I actually don't want Stormbreaker or the stupid axe. Now that I've seen what Twilight Sword looks like, and now that I've read that, I want the Twilight Sword. So yeah, you guys said Twilight Sword. You kind of got <laughs> you got to give us the Twilight Sword now. I'm kidding, obviously, but to give you guys a bit of background on why the Twilight Sword is so badass for Beta Ray Bill, and we'll get into why Beta Ray Bill is a really cool sneak peek and what other characters, etc., we can get here uh, first. But, but let me just dive into this because it's really cool. So basically, that's the Twilight Sword. Yes, it looks as badass as it sounds. And essentially, Beta Ray Bill goes into hell to kill Surtur. Yeah, it sounds as badass as it is. And it, and it is as badass as it sounds. Uh, and so basically, Surtur beats the shit out of him straight up because Surtur is way too strong. He just bodies the shit out of this giant horse-faced mother. Um, and yeah, I mean, Beta Ray Bill does his best. He does some wrestling moves. He, he like, you know, shish kebabs Surtur. Um, uh, Scourge comes in and uses this like massive gun made out of this robo lady. And he blows a hole in Surtur's chest. Um, but Surtur's too strong. Uh, but then Beta Ray Bill's like, you know what? We're going to sword in the so stone, Excalibur this shit. And he pulls the Twilight Sword out of the stone. 
with a like one of the coolest animations I've ever seen. Like that's just so badass. And he's got like a robo leg, like he's full metal alchemist or some shit. And then he just chops Surtur's fucking head off. And he's like, that was for my home, and this is for me. And he basically, like, devolves. I don't know, he pulls, like, some reverse gone, reverse adult gone shit. And he, like, transforms back into Saitama. I don't know what's going on with that. But, man, look at the flames in the back of his head. Like, if this is the Beta Ray Bill that we're getting, oh, my God. Because this is essentially the most powerful version of Beta Ray Bill ever, to my knowledge. The Twilight Sword is one of the most powerful weapons in the universe. It has the, it has the power and the strength to destroy entire planets. So Beta Ray Bill could fly into space and like swipe a planet and it just nukes the planet, the whole fucking planet. And it's made of uh, Uru, it's like unbreakable, all that shit. And he literally kills Surtur with it. So yeah, now that they said Twilight Sword, I don't want Stormbreaker. I don't want some stupid generic axe. I want this bad bitch. You, everybody wants this bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention, he, look at this, Beta Ray Bill's got a bad bitch too. You remember the robo lady I talked about? She's got a huge ass. Yeah, crazy, right? So you should really read this comic. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Anyways, back to Beta Ray Bill. So this is the look we're getting armor-wise. have no idea what weapon we're getting, but I'm literally now praying for uh, the Twilight Sword because that is so fucking cool. Uh, now, as far as what else we could get, we've covered Beta Ray Bill extensively. I'm actually very hyped for Beta Ray Bill. I'm probably going to tier for him if he's as good or better than Odin, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But first, let's talk about who else we could be getting. Now, the Annihilators, as they mention in the sneak peek, are a group that hasn't gotten together very many times, but it's a very consistent group. It's not like the X-Men or the Avengers where you have like a thousand people shuffling in and out like a merry-go-round or musical chairs. It's always the same five clowns. So you always got Beta Ray Bill, you always got Gladiator, you always got Ronin, you always got uh, Quasar, the, the, the man Quasar, and then you always got Adam Warlock, Magus, whatever. So this is always the crew. And then you also have Silver Surfer. He, he, he shows up now and then. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. So there's a lot of native tier twos here, a lot, a lot, right? Like Silver Surfer, Adam, Gladiator, and Beta. That's four. So they they chose they chose good. So we could definitely we're like we're obviously getting Beta Ray Bill, and this is him from the most recent Annihilators run, I believe. Um, there's a possibility we could get a Silver Surfer, okay, from this same run. This was a um, Annihilation. Um, this was a Annihilator something. I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's Annihilator Scourge or something like that. Uh, and I think it's the most recent uh, comic where they actually team up together. So we could be getting uh, potentially Silver Surfer Tier 4. I don't know how they're going to do a new uniform for him because it's still sort of Silver Surfer Black, but they could just do another one that's like even more cosmic looking. It looks really cool. Also, in this comic run, which I highly recommend you read, it's 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 kind of... I don't like the ending. I think it's unsatisfying and it's a bit too convoluted, but it's got some really cool panels uh, art-wise and sort of like, you know, um, the illustrations are really gorgeous. So... Sentry's also in this, so Sentry could be getting something. Now, Sentry is sort of evil in this in this part where he just looks like the right Sentry we have, but then he fuses, like, the good Sentry uh, fuses with Silver Surfer, and then Silver Surfer, like, inserts himself into the evil Sentry to, like, merge them. Don't ask. It looks really cool, though. And you can see here he's, like, pulling himself out but leaving Sentry intact. And then that's when you get the red Sentry. So this guy actually pulls up at the end... Um, and then just like he like giga claps uh, this 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 like evil vortex that shows up and kills Nova. He giga claps it. Nova's also in this. Gladiator's also in this. You can see all these guys here, but they just have like their base uniforms, like the, what we have now, right? Dar there's uh, there's Darkhawk, uh, there's uh, Cosmo, there's uh, Puck, I think. There's a lot of there's a lot of people. There's Human Torch, but they all have their base look. So I don't know if if they're going with this run specifically. I don't know exactly who they'd be choosing, but. They would have to give a different look for, you know, all these guys because because Richard Dick Rider, da Dark Hawk, Gladiator, they all just have their base looks, right? Even Human Torch has his base look. So I have no idea. But included included in this run here, because it's called Annihilation Scourge, you have Blastar, who's a really cool villain. He sort of looks like Beast on steroids, which is pretty dope. He's very strong. And then you also have, of course, the big bad himself, Annihilus. I have been begging for Annihilus for ages. I, I would love Annihilus in the game. It would be so cool if it's like a new GBR with better rewards and, you know, you fight Annihilus and then after like a few weeks or a month, then it start, he starts dropping Annihilus bios and we can uh, unlock Annihilus through that and we can build him up. That would be dope. Maybe that's too uh, ambitious. That's hoping for too much. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot that's potentially available here with Annihilators. And the best part is every single character I've mentioned that is not a new character is a character that desperately needs a rework. From Beta Ray Bill to Darkhawk and Dick Rider, they all desperately need reworks. Now, 
as far as beta ray bill goes we're gonna i want to briefly talk about this i might make a separate video touching on it but um the reason why i love beta ray bill so much here to anchor an update is because pretty much everybody has it this update is from like if they're doing these kinds of characters the annihilators right you know for sure you're gonna have dick rider you're gonna have you're gonna have nova you're gonna have beta ray bill and you have gladiator gladiator maybe you get darkhawk maybe not but everybody has beta ray bill because he's from this epic quest which gives you a discounted tier three uh, star lord right so pretty much everybody built has this ha like built up these characters and so even though beta ray bill is native tier two he's a discounted native tier two and he comes paired with a discounted tier three which is star lord so like i said most people have him like i, f I feel like a lot of players have beta ray bill this was a time he was released back in 2020 when the game was doing really well or when it when it was on like an upswing so i feel like a lot of i i just have a feeling that everybody owns this dude and he's sort of free you just have to do the epic quest versus odin who is very expensive if you weren't able to unlock him through the story mode years ago right because you have to pay crystals to unlock odin now it's very cringe it's not very interesting and so even though odin got a really cool uniform even though odin's very strong i still feel like some people had to pass up on him because he was sort of too premium so beta ray bill represents in my opinion a discounted odin and the reason why i'm bringing this up specifically versus odin is because he's essentially odin he's a universal male hero alien so he fits all of the same tags and he has leadership so he has literally all of the same relevant tags that odin has in addition to also being um available to use the the leadership tag which odin doesn't have right so he that's even better like energy projection and command are probably a better overall combo for world boss legend uh stages because there, i believe there's no stages for shock but leadership means he can leverage white fox which is massive for damage so that is really really good um, and also because he's cheaper than odin he represents a better alternative to players who don't want to build up odin for something like abx right and i've been looking for a replacement for thor and abx or sorry abl i've been looking at a replacement for thor abl for a long time i have been considering i've, I've honestly been considering odin because he can score quite well if if beta ray bill can outscore odin that would be amazing right because for the for the day here i'm having a hard time navigating through this but yeah it's coming in a couple days right there you have the male uh you sorry you have the, yeah the alien male hero category so yeah beta ray bill definitely represents a possibility for major major value obviously we want to see more characters getting reworks with this update obviously we want to see either a boost to rewards or a new game mode with better rewards or both so this update still has a lot to bring to us but i think it's off to a really good start they just need to clear up the confusion around the twilight sword so yeah hit me up in the comments down below let me know if you're hyped and if you're getting on the hype train thank you so much for watching smash the like button and i'll see you in the next one take care